Fortnite Chapter 3 is said to be returning, as props are already appearing all over the map teasing this, and eventually we'll be seeing the map flipping itself over the opposite direction this time as we make our way back to Chapter 2 OG. All this and more, because the Fortnite Mirrors 2024 update is huge, and starting with gameplay, this Fortnite Mirrors has actually brought one of the most unique weapons we've ever seen in Fortnite. You can now run around wielding a chainsaw as an actual weapon, and it has two uses, one is hacking or slashing opponents, and the other is using it to propel yourself and use it as a mobility item, and we know that Epic love adding melee weapons with different mobility mechanics like we saw last year in Fortnite Nightmares with the Mythic Kinetic Blade. This year though, there's another really cool item that's connected to a collab. Because, you guessed it, the Boom Billy item inspired from the Saw movies can now be found inside of Battle Royale. By using it, you can spawn in a mini tricycle with a small Billy the Puppet on top of it and it has the ability to lock onto the nearest opponent in sight, but beware because it can also lock onto you and explode yourself if there's nobody else nearby. Of course, just like last year, we also have the return of classic Fortnite Nightmares items items like the iconic pumpkin launcher, the mythic broomsticks, and also the wood stake shotgun. But if you're looking for an easy way to make your way around the map, the train has now been updated with a frightening new look, now becoming a literal ghost train fitting of the occasion. Speaking of Billy the Puppet though, he can now be found as a boss in a brand new POI, Freaky Fields. Yes, that's the real name, and there's different TVs all around the POI, similar to the one we saw at Castle Doom's Attic a few weeks ago as the build-up, and when interacting with them, Billy will ask you very kindly if you want to play a game just like in the movies. If you decide to accept his offer, he'll hop out of the TV again and begin hunting you until either you eliminate him or he eliminates you. But there's also another challenge where you'll be tasked with eliminating an opponent at a specific amount of time while wearing a Saw-themed Cuddle Team Leader helmet. If you choose to accept this challenge and you don't make it in time, it'll explode, eliminating you in the process. But if you do accomplish the challenge, you'll be rewarded with a lot of Four Nightmares related loot. The Freaky Fields location is pretty similar to Fatal Fields from Chapter 1 and it's now replaced Reckless Railways which nobody saw coming. Well, nobody you'll also see coming is players hiding as scarecrows inside of the field because that's right a brand new hideout mechanic's been added allowing you to literally hide yourself inside of scarecrows around the farm which is hilarious considering that players used to do this with the Heyman skin and the t-pose emo all the way back in chapter one by visiting the other side of the map though you'll instantly notice the underworld has undergone some massive changes altogether apart from the various halloween decorations around the place the river sticks has now turned red as marvel's long anticipated villain mephisto's taken over the poi even the throne room has now changed with the setting fitting for Marvel's Lord of Hell who now sits atop of his throne. If you go to him, he won't miss a chance to strike a deal with you because, as always, his services come at a price, costing you some of your HP in return for different rewards, like even being able to reboot your entire team all at once. And no, you don't need their reboot cards to do this. The changes don't stop there though, as Brawler's Battleground has also received a brand new boss, the Ultima Carver, alongside a set of pumpkin decorations and lots of vines now covering the place, and the interior of the buildings have received some festive decorations as well. Even even the statue at the top of Mount Olympus now has this giant pumpkin head instead of Zeus's, so talk about disrespect. Other changes around the map include the decoration of PYs like Grand Glacier and Restored Reels that now match the Halloween vibe with a ton of pumpkins all around them, and even places like Rebel's Roost and Sandy Steps are now themed around Halloween. It's clear due to last year's and previous complaints, Epic really went all out for this one. But speaking of time, everyone should get ready because it's now confirmed that we'll soon be rewinding to the past. Let me explain. There was a previous rumor about a full scale event that'll be happening at the end of this season as a lead up to chapter 2 OG that we know is happening this November right before chapter 6. We didn't know what to expect from this event and now it's taken everyone by surprise because there's a shocking revelation about what could be happening during it. If you visit the wasteland bow right now, some of you will be able to spot that the cuddle team leader head from the rave cave PY in chapter 3 is now made its return and it can be found covered in sand. Not only is that a direct hint at chapter 3 making a return, but it gets better with leaks that reveal that the entire chapter 3 map could be making a return. That's right, even though we've been expecting chapter 2 to be this year's season OG, we now know that the entire chapter 3 season 4 map has been re-added to the game's files alongside the addition of this small teaser in Battle Royale's current map. Even voice lines for the Herald boss have now been re-added, and it's becoming clear that Epic is planning something big. There's different theories, like some people thinking this season's finale event will be us rewinding time as we go back further into the past and experience key moments like playing on the Chapter 3 map against the Herald for a brief amount of time, right before we end up at Chapter 2 for the rest of November. Another theory is that we're going to go back in time and undo the Fracture event so the Chapter 3 map never gets destroyed in the first place, and Chapter 6 is a continuation of Chapter 3. We also have all the info on the theme and Battle Pass of 
one of chapter 6's seasons, and we'll be touching on that very soon. But in the meantime, this update's packed with new collabs, making it one of the few Fortnite members to include this many crossover characters all at once. We'll soon be getting a skin from Spider-Man comics, and you might have already guessed who it is, because I'm talking about Spider-Woman, who will be released very soon. Aside from other ones we already know, like Leatherface, Mephisto, and Saw, there was also new surprises like Edward Scissorhands, who was really unexpected. He's even an NPC right now located at Grand Glacier. Other surprising collabs include two characters from the Venom movies, She Venom and Agony, who have been added just in time to promote the third and final installment to the Venom trilogy, Venom The Last Dance. This could mean the original Eddie Brock skin will be finally making a return to the item shop as it's currently one of the most sought after rare skins in the game. But let's not forget about arguably one of this update's biggest collabs. After already being announced just a few weeks ago, Disney's first villains are getting added to the game. Yes, we now have our first look at Captain Hook, Cruella DeVille, and Maleficent all in Fortnite's art style, and let me just say, they all look amazing. This is the first wave of Disney skins coming to the game, as Epic and Disney have confirmed there will be way more to come, so we should be on the lookout for those. And the perfect example of this is with yet another collab with Disney bringing wave 2 of the Nightmare Before Christmas collab. There's now the Pumpkin King and Sally skins available in the shop. But also starting next week is going to be an exclusive OG variant granted to certain players. A while ago, there was the Paradigm skin who was accidentally released in the item shop for everyone to purchase even though the skin was stated to be exclusive. Epic had promised to make it up to the original owners of the skin by granting them a free OG style, and now we have a look at it. Its name is Reality Warrior Paradigm, a small reference to the Reality Warriors from the Brutal Bastion POI in Chapter 4. However, Epic yet again has managed to mess up as they've made a really controversial change to the gift system. Moving forward, you won't be able to give someone the rest of a bundle if they bought a single cosmetic from it, which is to prevent a glitch that allowed players to use gifting bundles to their advantage by getting multiple cosmetics at ridiculously low V-Buck prices. A great change of theirs though can now be seen inside the locker, because they added a much requested feature which was for singed emotes to now show other players in the locker as well, so a player can preview the entire emote as intended. In a not so surprising move though, Epic's also officially discontinued seasonal updates for rocket racing, leaving fans with mixed feelings because instead of new seasons, it's now just getting ranked periods, a few new quests, and occasional item shop drops. Yeah, it'll still be playable, but it looks like Epic's now doubled down on the fact that there's no reason to update the mode as frequently as the others as it gets the least amount of attention. But now it's time to talk about Chapter 6 and one of its upcoming seasons as we already may have a sneak peek at a future battle pass thanks to a leaked survey. While this one was smaller than the previous ones, it gave us exactly what we needed to know by revealing a set of skins all under the same exact theme. It looks like a superhero or space theme of sorts is bound to happen again, as all these skins share a striking similarity with this star emblem right on their chest. You can easily spot that some of them have heroes and villains themes as well, similar to the chapter 1 season 4 battle pass, so this confirms during chapter 6 we'll be getting another season themed around space and superheroes. We should also remember that the first season of chapter 6 is rumored to be themed around ancient Japanese mythology similar to Mega from chapter 4, so that leaves room for either season 2, 3, or 4 to feature the newly leaked season theme. Whether this will be taking place on the chapter 3 map or not is yet to be seen, but we'll for sure have an answer to that at the end of this season as chapter 5 comes to its conclusion, giving us an actual live event before season OG, contrary to chapter 4, so it's good to know epics learned from their mistakes. That's everything new in Four Nightmares 2024's update, so like and subscribe for more.